no on the parkland for the construction yard and no on the pigging station. I have no ifs, ands, or buts. From what I understand, then the issue comes up about eminent domain. The issue is a gray area. Let's litigate it if we have to be. Uh, I'm not going to jeopardize the health and safety of our residents, especially our children who play on those fields, okay, uh, so that a pipeline company can make a profit. And on the uh, just because we're going to end up possibly with some partially built new ball fields that will end up costing the town money. And nobody has said what that, what that will, will be. So I would vote against it, just again for the, for the parkland. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, with parkland alienation, would you vote to alienate Granite Mills West of Sylvan Glen? Um, I would, first of all, let me start out that the health and safety of the people of the town of Yorktown is always paramount to me. Mm -hmm. um, I did some, some research also on what you can and cannot do when it comes to uh, interstate gas pipelines. Um, and yes, FERC does, to your point, control, or to your point, uh, uh, Brian, uh, uh, control the whole thing. They can come in and say, we're going to do this, and that's what they're going to do. Now, bear in mind, there are two pipes in that pipeline at this point. A lot of people don't know that. Um, uh, I believe that this is an aging infrastructure that the gas line people are replacing proactively to avoid a situation. Most of the explosions that you see throughout the United States are not from transmission lines, but are from distribution lines, excavator, improper plumbing, etc. Um, so uh, the pipeline coming through, I think, is a proactive thing, and I think it's a thing of safety. That's number one. The pigging station is... Um, uh, I. I I understand that that's only done twice a year. It's in a building, and it's supposed to be clean. I can only go by what I, what I have read, what I've seen on the internet, and what I hear. In regard to the alienation of the parkland, um, I live on Stony Street. I take my kids up, my grandkids up there hiking with my wife and dog. Um, I've lived on Stony Street for I'm a lifelong resident anyway, um, and for us to gain the structure to have our ball fields up there, if we can give a little bit to the pipeline, I would much rather have a truck come up and down my road in front of my house one time bringing stuff than have that wear yard somewhere else and having it go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, in regard to the monies to f do the, the ball fields once they, they're there, uh, once that the, the, the company uh, is, is ready to leave and is restoring uh, uh, things to their, the way they were, um, I understand that the, they were going to do the rough out on the ball fields and so on and so forth and then give a dollar amount to finish the ball fields. Um, because they don't build ball fields. They do grading and they do drainage and so forth and entryways and exit ways to make it more safe um, for the, the, the uh, uh, sporting public. Um, and then they were going to give a dollar amount to finish, which, from what I understand, would not be at any cost to the town of Yorktown, or at very little cost, at very best, mostly for maintenance. Um, is Spectra going to give $5, $500,000, million? We don't know. People asked this at, at courtesy of the floor and got no answer. Spectra has said, if, if you've looked at the DEI, their DEIS, that they will do a gravel road into the site. They will do a gravel parking lot. They will restore the practice field that's there to its existing condition, which is a very simple kind of a field. It's not a sophisticated lacrosse field. Okay, um, So we don't know. Okay. The leverage to get more money from Spectra, if we, if we wanted to do it, would be now saying, you put down in writing, this is exactly what you're going to give us, and give us a timetable. And then we'll say, yes, we will consider that. But they're saying, no, give us the alienation first, and then we'll negotiate, and then we'll tell you how much. We only have about 15 minutes left and a few more questions I want sure. to get to. So uh, if, you, if you have a response for that, I don't want to I would vote yes for it. Okay. 